people deluded i'm back again now i'm sure you've all seen it mavropanos it, um, won't be playing any part in the europa league campaign for um, this season at least moving forward hopefully we're in the champs next year um if it's likely that we're in the europa league he can he can come again next year but for this year at least he's ruled out now that comes off the back of i'm not too sure if any people are aware of this but obviously martinez went on loan to get some football in reading that obviously meant we're down a place in terms of homegrown registration for the competition so that means we could, uh, long story short, I'm not sure how the rules work, but we had to name one less player sort of thing, to which Mavropanos is the man that misses out. So if you remember, he's deemed that he can go forward in the in the Europa League in our quest to the final. Um, I don't know who would face past, um, past bait. We need to respect bait because we've got a two-legged tie, but you'd, be expect, you'd expect Arsenal to go through. So at least, for this season at least, he won't play any part. And you're left wondering. Now, it's, it's, it's not as dramatic as it probably sounds. Someone has to be left out. Someone has to be left out. Um, for me, anyways, it's, it's sad because Mavropanos, especially considering how our defence has been so woeful and you're, you're really struggling to pick anyone really as a strong a strong 11 in terms of the back four or a strong back four, better yet, I shouldn't have said 11. It's probably, for me, if Holden was fit, it'd be probably be Holden and Mavropanos. Koscielny, he's shown that he could... He, He's on the decline, but he's shown he can be used. So it'd be that it would be him and Monreal. They'd be my four that I'd be looking at. Um, that are still at the club, and obviously Mavropanos as well. They'd be the guys I'd be moving forward with. I think I named everyone as part from Mustafi. It's quite sad, but um, we've been a bit woeful, and we know Koscielny's not the future of the club. And a couple of men at this club that I've just said, like Mustafi, you'd like to think their careers here are done unless a dramatic overturn. Mavropanos is someone you're looking at to give get minutes or, or salvage some part in terms of the campaign, both in the Premier League and, and possibly in the Europa League moving forward. Now, he's only played 11 minutes of Premier League football. I know he's not been registered for Europa, but he's only played 11 minutes. We know last season he showed some promise. He obviously had some good games, the standout being against United. He obviously got sent off against Leicester, forgive me if I'm wrong. So he's shown he's a rough diamond and he's looking at this season to be the one he could build upon. It's not Uno Emre's fault or anyone's fault of his own. It's sad but injuries and part are part and parcel better yet of the game so he's been restricted with growing injuries and I think he had another injury and he what returned in December we know he got some minutes um yesterday actually um again against West Ham's under 23s I believe before the game got called off he played in a behind closed doors friendly against Bournemouth um and he's been and he's obviously getting some minutes here and there and it's sad for me anyways. I know someone had to miss out. Um, People would point to probably El Nene because we know that's really El Nene's bulk of his um, minutes and appearances this season as the man to miss out. But if you look at it, I probably would incline to leave him out. But if you look at it, I know it's not much people, but I guess Uno Emre probably deems that he's more experienced. Just on the case of bodies, I don't think El Nene is going to play a major part in the Europa League as we get serious. But I mean, he can be used as a sub, as as a as a sub. He can be used as a um, obviously in his native midfield positions. Um, if push comes to serve, he could actually probably push him to play right back or or centre half, such as been the case of our of our um, of our thingy of our. Um, of our campaign so far just generally speaking so that's probably why he's done it for me it's sad because we've had some injuries and things like that and we're kind of down to our bare bones and there's question marks over the back line um i was looking at mavroponis at least being in the squad someone that if something happens at least he can be called upon so um i don't really i understand the thinking of course but it's just sad because you're looking at it now it's we've obviously left january mavroponis can't go out and loan and get some football what was it i'm so sure was it wenger last season said mavroponis might go on loan this season obviously that changed with you and Emery and um, I'd say him and Holden actually won the battle out of the three with him Chambers obviously Mavropanos Chambers and Holden it looked like one had to go out on loan Chambers went um, this season has been I wouldn't say a nightmare but it's been a kick in the teeth for him and he is lacking top level experience consistently so you would have liked him to have got some he still can get some minutes but you would have liked him to have not been injured but it is what it is in terms of how he plays football um, before I got sidetracked in terms of his football for at least for, until May um you're looking at it, he's obviously not going to play in the Europa League. We're out of two cup competitions in the FA Cup and the Cat Yarabal. So it has to come within the Premier League now. I'm not discrediting any side. I know we've got Wolves, to, uh, don't quote me, but I'm sure we've got Wolves and Leicester away from home to come in the Premier League. On paper, it looks like favourable fixtures, depending on how you look at it. If you just look at the two teams, obviously away from home, Arsenal are shaky to put it nicely. Um... 
So to just, just just focus on how it looks on paper, you'd think he could get some games there, get some minutes, maybe blooded in. I don't. I want us to get top four, of course, people. But if it goes the other way and it's similar to last season, where we have to, I don't want to say right off the league, but like kind of just kind of contain it and play young players and things like that. Mavropanos can get minutes. He's obviously got to be patient, similar to Holding. Holding had to. Holding's had to be patient since he's joined this club, and he had to be patient this year. And he got his chance, and he got a run in the side. Obviously, it sadly didn't end in the way everybody would have liked. Would like to have had him available but yeah man Mavropanos I don't know how much football he's going to get um, this season until the end to be honest with you I hope he gets some minutes in the Premier League obviously came on against City but um, was it City or Cardiff sorry it was Cardiff sorry forgive me if I'm wrong but um, I do want to put the, the City result out of my head to be honest but yeah you're looking at it it's just hopefully he can get some minutes um, next season obviously I want a centre half to come it looks like we're broke and Mavropanos anyways is someone that I would like to be integrated into the side but um, there's always the case to go out on is possibly stronger because he was initially when he signed for the club initially apparently about to be sent out on loan he impressed Wenger and the coaching staff he was granted a delayed stay like I said he's still lacking top experience and that's testament to how good he is to be honest and how good he's taken to football but he's still probably lacking top level experience I would like to see him figure as, as part of a major part of next season but um, in regards to this season I'm not too sure how many minutes he gets because I want him to play in the Premier League like I said people and give him some minutes and blood him and um, let him make mistakes and try and get some consistency but how feasible within the current context of what we're doing trying in, to get top four is that is that deemed possible you know he might lean to his most um, experienced players like he's been playing with keeping faith in Mustafi obviously kashani has been playing as well so you'd like to think how many minutes does you does you know deem he's going to give um, Avropanos realistically you'd also think if that's the case and he's struggling for a football he'd probably get a substantial amount of minutes at under 23 level in fact substantial is an exaggeration maybe here and there just to keep fitness also as well we also can't rule out that we don't know in, I know he's back from his he's back from his injury but we don't know the status we don't know the severity we don't know the rehabilitation program he could have possibly be on maybe he, it's a thing where um, you know I mean the coaching staff are saying he can figure but it might not be the wisest to play him consistently because we don't know you know he might want to do that and he's, and he's thinking alright cool kind of I don't think it's this to be honest but it's another way of looking at it alright cool you're not really it's not feasible for you to really feature in the Europa League I'm going to do it this way I'd also have to wonder how does Mavropanos feel. Obviously, if they've said words or whatever, then cool. But I'd I'd be gutted to miss out, regardless of if I'm one of the most players that start every week, like like I said, or Bamian or Lichtenstein, who's only gonna play if there's injuries. I'd be gutted to be honest with you, because. Like I said, it's Arsenal. Hopefully, we win it and get to the final. And if we did that, obviously, he'd be about in the squad and he'd lift the trophy, but he wouldn't be a part of it. And I'd be gutted, to be honest with you, because obviously, he's an Arsenal player. Fans haven't had much joy. Could be the only bit of joy we get if we don't get top four. And I'd be upset to, um, that I'm not part of it. Obviously, you know, skilled with the Europa League and how to get through it. At least on paper, he's skilled. He's been around the block in that competition numerous times. I'd be, I wouldn't say it's a sporting decision, and obviously, without knowing all the context, I can only comment on what I know. But I'd be gutted if I was a Mavropanos to a degree, man. I'd, I'd, I wouldn't, obviously, it's not the end of the world, but I'd be gutted, man. It just make me work harder. Um, again, obviously, he's it's, it's sad because he's it's, it comes down to the homegrown law. So, I think in theory, um, let me get up, people, but I think in theory, Peg Luoso can play. Um, I ain't going up. People forget we don't need it, but um, a lot of the academy players. So I think technically Medley and 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 Peg also can technically play in the competition and not Mavropanos. But the rules are the rules, and it also goes back to one of the videos. I have to be shameless and plug it that I said in regards to. Do we need to start looking at homegrown players with all the ones that could be leaving? Obviously, Ramsey on paper, it could be departing the club as well. Jenkinson, you need to remember, another one that's registered still counts as homegrown. Do we need to start looking at them sort of players to um for obviously to get around things like this? Which is also another catch-22 in itself, again, which I said in that in that video, because... Obviously, you want us to go for the holdings when he wasn't really known at Bolton, and maybe to a degree, Oxley Chamberlain feel you kind of we kind of need to get them before they start banging because or, or Davy Brooks because you look at the potential now, you look at them lads that are obviously Damari Gray. Well, Damari Gray was at, at Birmingham. You could have got him there. You're looking at if you believe they're this level or not, or worth it or not. You're looking at probably fifty million because of the English premium. You're looking at I know he's not young, but he could probably fool Harry Maguire. You're looking at fifty plus. 
Madison is probably not at that level yet, but such is the such as he's taken to Premier League level, and it's like admittedly it's like he's always been at Leicester, and I like him. You're looking at the same. Chilwell came through the academy, but you're looking at Leicester, but you're looking at the same price. So it's a catch twenty two really. Um, the caliber of players you'd think in terms of homegrown to build sides around, it's a premium. Are we then gonna be crafty and go for the what's that keeper man that um. Is it Turnbull that Chelsea had on the books for years? What's the one as well? There's another one, man. There's another one. Is it Stuart Taylor who is at City? Them guys there that are never going to play or if you could get centre-halves that realistically won't feature, are we going to sign players that just make up the fact that they're homegrown, for instance? Um, to get around it, um, Matt Macy's on loan at the moment, but he's, what, 24, 20, 23, 24, 25? He's a big man now. He's technically homegrown, so if we recall him and register him just for the squad, obviously it's selfish because he won't probably feature that much in terms of football at any level and have to be subject to under-23s, but in terms of registering players, maybe it'd be wise to do that. Obviously, Martin, as if he's at the club and, and not loaned out, that's another one as well. But then again, it, that's just me naming two players coming in that are not currently named as far as I know at this time. But then I just said at the beginning of this, Jenkinson and Ramsey gone as well. So I think we can get around it. Obviously, technically on paper, who's homegrown people we've got um, that will be left. Um, I'm not too sure on Mustafi's status, people, because wasn't he at Everton for a bit? So I don't know if he counts. So let's forget him. But off the top of my head, it will be Maitland-Niles. Um, obviously, all the youngsters and that, but it will be Maitland-Niles. Nelson, if he's here. And Ketia, Emil Smith-Rowe, if he's here. Callum Chambers, if he's here. Rob Holden, if he's here. Um, Bellerin, technically, as well, because although he's Spanish, he came through the academy, if he's here. So we've got eight, to be honest with you. We can get around it. We can get around it, to be fair with you. Maybe I'm just exaggerating, but who knows, man. Either way, it's sad, but it is what it is. I don't think it's that much of an exaggeration, but if I was my brother upon us, I'd be gutted personally, people, to be left out of this, of our only chance, at least at, at this moment in time, on the... At uh, six six fifty one on on the fifth of February twenty nineteen, I'd be upset that I'm not involved in that cop competition of any stage, and I'm just gonna be a fan essentially, like the rest of all the actual Arsenal fans. But yeah, man, I think we've done enough here. So on that note, I'm gonna kick it, kick out, man, and get out of here. You lost hair, so people, if you wish, like the video, subscribe, share it up, comment your opinions. Q and A days on Friday, people. I see a lot of you asking them questions, but getting the comments, I can't answer what I'm not asked, people. Yeah. Anyways, deluded, I'm out, man. Thank you, people. Bang.